the Pope. Francis, yeah. He is, um, the news admitted today, this morning, that he was a Jesuit. So I'm going to read the stories at Channel 8 News, what they type down. At the bottom of the video, you go on to see a link, you could click on it. So I'm going to read right now. Pope Francis became the leader of the Catholic Church in March, bringing to the Vatican a series of first the Pope to choose St. Francis as a namesake, the first Latin Pope and the first Jesuit Pope. So they use him to gain a popularity for the namesake of the young people around the world. See, I don't mess with wrong religion. Religion doesn't do anything. Just read the Bible and praise the Most High, and that's all you gotta do. But honor the Ten Commandments. Okay, continue on. His conversational first words from Saint Peter Balcony asked the um the people to pray for him. A humble greeting that captured many hearts. The message has spread since then. Those of tolerance, um, equality, and humanitarianism um, make a make him a um this week game changer for 2013. Card um Cardinal Timothy Dolan of New York explained that Francis. Effects in an interview with ABC's George um, Stefan No Paluso. This Pope has successfully finally shattered the uh, um, it's a too small car, um, carrying capture capture of the church that the words are too small hold on Let me boost up a little bit okay better of the church that is that this procedure has tired tried uh, hard to do what that Yeah. Can't even see some of the words. Hold on. I just got this new Windows 8 computer. Haven't really mastered it yet. It keeps going small and little. Copy capture on question mark. Okay, hold on. That the church is kind of mean and door door and always saying no and always telling us that uh, what we can't do and always telling us what we should be what should be excluded Cardinal Dolan said he's saying oh no come on in the church is about warmth and tendency you see the new age the Illuminati the elite when I greet you with warm words, like nice words, like come on in, we love you. You go on inside, they know who you are. They probably got cameras inside the Vatican, all these churches monitor you, know who you are, and everything. When you go inside their church, that's like walking to the gateways of hell. It's no equivalent because the Pope isn't God. I'm not kissing this man's hands. Okay, Pope Francis' efforts are clearly working. Well, it is working. A lot of people are joining him. Think he's a holy one. If he's so holy, then raise the dead. He can't raise nobody up, the damn fool. You know, he's really blaspheming the false and the Holy Spirit. But he's comes with the holy one. He's not holier than the Holy Spirit. Nobody is. Once you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, there's no coming back into grace. You're done. Well, if you, um... What was that word called? Like Paul was. 
if you have no knowledge of who, who of, of whatever, have no knowledge, of whatever, whatever, ignorance. If you're ignorant of the, of know who the Holy Spirit was, or is, you can be forgiven. Paul was ignorant of that too. He was forgiven. He didn't know anything about the Holy Spirit at that time when Paul was a hypocrite. Okay, let's read. Um, I just left watching. Yeah, Pope Francis' efforts are working clearly. Are clearly working. In a recent ABC News Washington Post poll, 92% of American Catholics have a favorable opinion on this on a new pope, and 85% think. He is moving the church in the right the, um, direction. Cardinal Dolan said he knew Pope Francis would make a positive change, but said the extent of his impact has been a pleasure, a pleasant surprise. Well, of course, what we were was a good pastor with a track record of a solid administration, fatherly warmth, tender care for his sheep. Christ is our father. He tends us. He's a tender care for us because we are lost sheep. So the Pope is proclaiming himself as Christ, taking care of the sheep. The Pope can't take care of no sheep. He's lost his damn soul. If he knew everything, he wouldn't be there right now. He'd be above the clouds and everything. For his people and boy, we got that on steroids with Pope Francis. He the world parish priest, Dolan said. Pope Francis is a star among both the young and the old, speaking out in a new way in new ways that excite believers and non believers alike. Though he hold to the church doctrines, he strive to downplay what he calls the church obsessions with social issues. Pope Francis has made headlines for saying that atheists can go to heaven. No, they can't. And when asked about homosexuality, respond, who am I to judge? Now, we know the Bible mentioned that in Leviticus um, you can't go to heaven and, and be homosexual let me um get that chapter for a second alright I got the chapter in the Bible Leviticus chapter 2013 if a man also lies with mankind as he lies with a woman both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Let's, let's find a precept. Leviticus chapter 18, 23. Neither shall thou lie with any beast who defile thyself. Therewith, neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto. It is confusion. Defile not yourself in any of these things, for in all these the nations are defiled which I cast out before you. Let me read before that Leviticus 18 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is also an abomination. See, this tell you right here that this Pope is phony. Telling you who am I to judge. The Bible says already, if you're in a high power, you're supposed to tell the people what they are doing wrong to reach heaven. He said atheists can go to heaven. Now, I don't see the word atheist in the Bible can go to heaven. And, and, and I, I don't see it. Only believers can go to heaven. Baptism of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit in the water and follow Ten Commandments. Now I don't know about this whole atheism crap. This is crazy. Let's 
second. If atheists can go to heaven, that means anybody can go to heaven. What's the point of honoring the Ten Commandments then? This guy's a clown, man. Anybody believe everything what this guy said? Well, of course, he looks white, and these white people has they have more voice power than what we have. If I were to say that, I would got stoned right by the second. But here, let's um. That's my cat making noise. And pay the cat no more. So, Pope Francis is a star among the both in the young, the both the young and the old. That means the young people and the old people. He's like a angel to them in their eyes. Remember, mankind has flesh. Flesh is damned. Mankind tricks, um, use mind trick on other mankind. How? Satan empowers that mankind with the breath of his fire. You see, the Father gives his people the Holy Spirit, while the devil breathes his false spirit on people the fire. Speak lies and clever words. Now I'm going to go back to the top and read this again. Pope Francis became the leader of the Catholic Church in March. Bring into the Vatican a series of firsts. The first pope to choose first, I mean Saint Francis as a namesake. I mean his name, popularity. The first Latin American pope and the first Jesuit pope. It's telling why he's a Jesuit. So no more people can say, oh, Jesuit conspiracy theorist. No, no, no. It's telling you right here. I'm gonna give you the link. You can read it for yourself. The news is telling you about this. Why? Satan has confidence that time is on his side. That song, time, time, it's on my side. He thinks time is on his side, but it's not. He's so full of pride and ignorance that he believes he already won this fight. Remember, Satan can't do anything without the most high permission. Just like with Job, he couldn't do anything without his permission. Now, nobody can't say the Jesuit is fake. It's proof right here. I'm going to give the link on the bottom of the video. I can't find the live footage video when a news reporter said uh, St. Francis, the first Jesuit, that took that off the air. I can't find it. Maybe somebody might find it. But I got the link of ABC News, the whole typo, the whole, the whole storyline that typed up here. I'm going to include it at the bottom of the link. Um, this is all. Mark 06, 104, out. Shalom.